Hey guys, um, I just wanted to do a really quick cage tour for my black headed kaiik. This is Connor. This is obviously not his cage. He's sitting on the shelving unit right now. Um, he spends most of his time out of his cage. Um, and this is really not a good thing for him to be sitting on. So I'm going to move him. Out. Okay, so this is his cage from further off again. Um, that up there is our parakeet's cage. Um, we actually just got her. We're going to get her a much larger cage um, because I'm afraid that that one's too small for her. But anyway, uh, and she's out of her cage a lot too. And I don't even know if you can see her. She's back there. Okay, so I am back. I was um, getting a show ready for the kids um, because they wanted to watch that. And um, it might keep them quiet while I do this video. Um, anyway, so this is Connor's cage. Um, uh, down there it has, like, um, a rack that we can put his food on or whatever. But we don't do that because the kids would get into it and spill it all over the place. So, I don't personally do that, but, uh, you could probably do that. Um, we have his cage in a, um, area that's open to a lot of traffic. Like, there's a lot of people Obviously, my whole family walks through this area. Um, that's a chair, um, and then that over there is our table. Um, and that also is his tree. He does tend to like to sit on that tree. He's not sitting there right now, but um, he does sit on there a lot. I very much feel that um, he is part of our family, and so we, um, we want him around as much as possible. Um, okay, so inside his cage, um, the door is, this is the door. Let's see if he'll climb up. There we go. Um, this is the door and we like this. It, his cage has a lock on it, which makes it, um, so the kids can't get in if we don't want them to get in, which is pretty frequent. Okay. So he has that monkey thing back there, that monkey head. And that is a foraging toy. It's got like pieces of wood, little like, like stuff like that, um, which he can pick at and yeah. So, um, that is one of his toys. Um, he has this little, um, this is also a forging toy. Um, uh -huh. and it has nuts in it and he gets in there and he, and he's almost out of nuts in there. So I need to put more nuts in. Um, but he gets in there and he pulls them out and then he can eat the nut. Um, that is his hammock. Um, he sleeps in that. We yeah. also cover the cage at night, but, um, he does sleep in there. Um, he is actually to the point that he really likes to sleep in there. So, um, that's one of his ladders. He climbs up this, uh, to get a drink. Um, that is his water dish which needs to be cleaned out. He has a real tendency to um, get food in his mouth and then go spit it into his water dish or to mix things in his food dish over here. He um, did that as well. We used to have the water in this dish, um, but he totally like mixed them together and so the water was just gross. So we ended up changing his water to that dish. Um, that yellow dish is his fruit pellets, which he loves. Um, we also will mix his fruit pellets with water and make him kind of a, a fruit cake, which he really, really loves that. We do that like as a special treat. Um, and then that is like a, um, just like a, I can't remember what they're called, but they're, it's kind of a chew toy, I guess. A chew toy. I don't know. I don't think that's the right word for it, but a toy that he can rip apart, um, and it helps keep him busy and keep him from plucking his feathers because parrots do pull their feathers, especially if um, they are not in entertained. So um, yeah, that one is one that he has totally chewed up. Um, we actually used to have, and I will show you, we used to have that big circle one with the things hanging off of it. That used to be in his cage, and apparently my husband just switched that. So, um, he chews on that occasionally. He also has a, he has 
this toy, I'm going to show you from the outside of the cage. This is also a kind of a chew toy for him to, um, that he can climb on and chew on. And I've seen him doing that quite a bit. So we've only had Connor for about two weeks. So, um, you know, he, he's still kind of getting used to us. So he doesn't play necessarily all the time yet. Um, another ladder, um, he uses that to get to, um, his fruit pellets. Um, we did this rope perch as kind of a, um, spiral staircase so that he can get up and down as he pleases and he does all the time um we actually have that bowl of water in his cage because he we want him to have a couple of bowls of water in there and then he also plays in this water it's kind of his bath water um we also take him out and give him showers in our shower um this is kind of one of those uh, pedicure perches, I think is what they're called, and they're really good for their nails um, and for their t uh, beak. So he he sits on this some, but really um, he mainly just comes over here when he wants food. Um, and then also that is his cuddle bone, um, and he he that is a beak conditioner. So that's to keep his. Uh, beak trim and tidy um and he does i've seen him use it a couple of times but not very much yet so anyway um and then let's see what else have i missed and then the last thing in his cage is this and it's just it's a it's a wood perch and it looks like it could have just like come off of a tree outside um and i've heard you can use um like outside branches and stuff in their cages but I'm going to stick with this one for right now. Um, and this one goes all the way across his cage. Um, there's the outside, or, you know, it goes all the way, all the way across. So, and then, oh, and over there, that is millet, which birds really like. And it's in a basket, and he tears up the basket to get to the millet, um, which he really likes millet. We don't give him very much of it um, because it is very very fattening for them so um it's not a good thing for them to have a lot of it yeah um and i will make another um video like about his food and stuff what we feed him okay so yeah there he is he is in his cage now um he is an, an extremely sweet bird and an extremely affectionate bird he loves like the whole family um we are very careful with him around kids if you are thinking of getting one of these they are extremely sweet, um, but they can be bitey. He loves to be held, is very affectionate with me and with my husband. Um, if you have young kids, I would say um, don't let them just, you know, be unsupervised with a bird like this because they could hurt the bird and the bird could hurt them. So anyway, um, that is an introduction to him. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you next time. Please like and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.